Welcome to UBP TV. Today, the big question is this. Is Eurozone recovery real? European financial markets have performed strongly so far. But are markets right to be rushing for the Eurozone? It has to be said, though, that the growth outlook has improved. The Euro has weakened dramatically, and this should revive exports. For instance, we have already seen a rebound in foreign orders in Italy. Retail sales and consumer confidence have also improved. The low oil price has refueled households' purchasing power, and consumption is on a more positive trend than expected. Business indicators have also turned positive after having been sluggish for several months. This could suggest increased industrial activity and an upturn in capital expenditure later on. The ECB new strategy and its QE program should speed up the rebound of demand for credit. Debt interest rates are expected to fall further, particularly in peripheral countries. So a cyclical recovery seems well underway, and growth prospects for the next two years have improved. As we can see on this graph, we expect growth to reach 1.3% this year in Eurozone, rising to 1.7% in 2016. This shows a progressive rebuilding of the growth potential in the Eurozone. Germany and Spain should continue to lead the recovery, with growth in these countries expected to come in at 2% or above. Italy is expected to slowly return to growth, benefiting from domestic reforms, a weak euro, and the fact that the ECB is banging up Italian government bonds. France is expected to recover, but only slowly. And don't forget that France and Italy are still lagging behind other countries in this process. This recovery should last for several quarters because we expect the two major constraints, namely high unemployment and large debt, to be less of a problem. Unemployment should continue to decline as gross pickups and unemployment will peak and a progressive decline is expected in several countries as we have already seen in Spain. The second constraint is debt and the deleveraging that needs to be carried out. Households and corporate debt should continue to decline, but debt servicing should not be a problem in such a friendly monetary environment. At government level, budgetary deficit should be better controlled as growth recovers and debt refinancing is no longer a problem except for Greece. Of course, we will have to wait longer to see any significant decrease in public debt to GDP ratios, but a friendlier trend could appear in the next two to three years. Where are the risks? Outside the economy, I would mention two major sources of risk. A lot of elections are set to take place this year in several important countries, and this could be a challenge for the current governments and the economic policy. Another source of risk is the situation in Ukraine and Russia and instability in the Middle East. Of course, we hope that these factors will remain tail risk and do not derail this ongoing recovery. Thank you. And see you soon on UBP TV.